wages. Wages is a part of it, but 100% staffing is the number one thing that we're fighting for inside that building. Well, tonight, 15,000 Minnesota nurses are back at work after going on a three day strike. And the Twin Cities Hospitals Group says that negotiators are expected to resume talks in a few days. From Monday to Wednesday, thousands of furious hospital workers decided not to show up for work. The union says that they're fighting for higher pay and help with the dire staffing shortage. Well, seven hospitals in the Minneapolis area had nurses walk off the job. These locations had to bring in temporary nurses to try to cover for. For the striking union members. And joining us to discuss this matter is Ryan Hilmo. He is a cardiac nurse. Thank you so much for the work that you do. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Ryan, how did it get to this point? Help us understand what it is to be a nurse today after so many years of a pandemic as well. Um, yeah, it's it's been a rough road, um, but we went through COVID and, um, well, we all went through COVID, but I guess nurses kind of saw the the nastiest side of COVID. Um, it was very hard. And now, um, you know, after being told we're the backbone of, of the hospital and we're uh, the most valuable asset the hospital has, um, we're just kind of asking for that to be shown. Um, maybe show us that that's true. Um, so it's been, uh, we've had, uh, since, since COVID, we've had intense uh, labor shortages every day. It's just a desperate situation, um, trying to meet the needs of all of our patients. And we just were begging for help. <laughs> Ryan, um, a desperate situation, I hear you. I, I, I wish we had more time. We only have about 30 seconds, but I just want to ask hospital leaders calling nurses 30% raise demands unaffordable. What is your response to that? I would say they're paying four times what all our regular, regular nurses are making um, just to bring in travelers. And that's not while we're on strike, that's every day. Um, I'd say travel nurses outnumber us um, staff nurses by, I don't know, by double. So the money is there. Um, we just want them to treat their staff right. Ryan, I hear you. Ryan Hilmo, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for sticking around. Thank you for your time. It is an important story, and uh, we certainly appreciate our frontline healthcare workers and all that you've done in the last several years. And always, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.